No Film School's coverage of Cinegear 2019 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. And Firefly, unlimited music and non-GMO hosting. You know, variable NDs make the world go round. They keep our backgrounds blurry even if we're in broad daylight like today. And I'm here with Oliver, and he is the inventor of the Cinefade C-Motion uh, Cinefade ND. So how's it going, Oliver? It's yeah, good to see you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being here. So this is more than just a variable ND, which, which we as filmmakers have been familiar with with a good amount of time, correct? Correct, yeah. So this is our C-Motion Cinefade Vary ND, and the cool thing about this variable ND is that you can slave it to an iris motor and do a depth of field change. So what we're doing is we're changing the iris to change depth of field and then using our variable ND filter to keep the exposure constant. So what I would do first of all is I would set my exposure, let's say we'll set it at a T11 and um, quickly set that as a T11, hit a button to activate the Cinefade mode and from that point onwards the two motors are slave to each other. So now when I change the iris I will only see a change in depth of field and not an exposure. So right now we're looking at an image of you in the foreground. We are at a T11. And what I've done is I set the system up. So we're going from a T11 and we're going to open up all the way to a T1.9. Okay. So here we go. That's a T1.9 and I hope I've got you sharp and focused. Let me double check. That looks pretty good. And from a T1.9, I can then gradually go back to a T11 and bring the background into focus again. In terms of what you're adjusting with the hand unit, yep. all you're doing is a depth of field. Essentially, it balances itself out. So Exactly. So as an operator, all I'm doing is I'm changing the iris slider, and the system automatically keeps the exposure constant so that all you're seeing is a change in depth of field. Man, that's absurd. So I really, with a variable ND in front of my lens, all I'm doing is saying, hey, I think I need a shallower depth of field. Yep. I move it. The system compensates for that. It's just the iris slider. I'm not worrying about what ND I'm on and then adjusting my iris to that ND anymore. Exactly, so the system does everything automatically. I was talking to a DP yesterday who was going from a one shot to a two shot and trying to keep shooting at a 2.8 but trying to keep both people in focus at a 2.8 mm -hmm. was very hard so you would have loved to have a system like ours where you can just very quickly extend that depth of field for the two shot and then go back to your 2.8 depth of field for the one shot. So many different practical as well as creative applications. Definitely we have very high quality filters which we've developed together with ARRI so uh, they will give you very little color cast but the most important thing is just the creative aspect of it so I thought of the idea and I thought it was a very simple th thing in terms of cinematography I mean all you're doing is changing the iris and having a variable ND sync to it mm. but the effect is actually very interesting and I've had loads of people tell me that this is a really cool effect I've had loads of people use the Cinefade. This is an attachment for the matte box this isn't something that I just screw onto my lens and call a day. Exactly so it'll fit into any LMB matte box it's compatible with any camera it's compatible with any cinema lens um, and besides doing the cool Cinefade effect you can also as you mentioned use it as a variable ND filter. So a lot of people are shooting with variable ND filters nowadays just because you have very light sensitive cameras, you're shooting outdoors, mm -hmm. and instead of constantly changing ND filters traditionally, you can just use the um, variable ND filter that we have here controlled either from the hand unit or directly on the filter itself. What is my range for the variable NDs? How many stops am I going to get out of this thing? So you're going to first of all lose one and a half stops at full transmission, so it goes from an ND4 to an ND1.9 for the Cinefade effect, but you can push the variable ND filter filter up to an ND 2.4. So we are selling the system now for 7,980 euros, which I believe is about nine and a half thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. And that'll get you the filters. And then the C Pro system itself is about another, I think, ten thousand dollars roughly. Mm -hmm. uh, and that'll get you the C Pro hand unit and one motor with the receiver already built in. Can I use any other wireless follow focus system with the uh, with the Cinefade or do, does it need to stay with you guys in C-Motion? For now, C-Motion only. Okay, so if I'm, if I'm going to commit to this and I'm really going to go the full C-Motion way. So you're going to go the full C-Motion way, but a lot of people have been requesting compatibility with WCU4 as well. Uh -huh. uh, so that's something we're considering for the future. Excellent. And what about shipping? Are these things already out or when do they, when do they come? Yeah, so we've been shipping for about three months, so you can order them now uh, at cinefade.com and, um, and we're shipping the next batch in July.